All right, so um, we are going to talk about the future of VFX and about some terminal UI. So just a quick recap. There was a bit of a confusion uh, due to what MPE is doing in the next years and so on. Well, don't worry. Um, we have founded the Voten and Pelk GmbH and it's just a process that takes some time, more than we'd like it to. Um, anyway, we are on our track to get it all completed within this year and uh, VFX is well looked after and as you can uh, clearly sorry? see... Uh, we don't see it on big blue button. Yeah, I can't make that work. Well, let me okay. try. Maybe I can. Can you make me presenter, please? Yes. I should have explained that you should look at, at my camera, but it, you, it makes more sense. Presenter. I'll just try to and share the screen. I guess it's an option is also to enlarge Gerald's uh, thumbnail. Yes, but I think the quality is better if you do it like that. OK, yeah. so I hope you can see it now because it's yes, hard yes. for me to track. All right. This is just uh, uh, this is just what we call the uh, book of companies uh, in, in Austria. So I just that's just what we have to show now. We are <laughs> we don't have a fancy logo or anything right now. We are much more concerned with um, getting everything up and running. Um, and yeah, with carrying the product forward. So Stephen, you also wanted to say a few words. So I'm going to show your face instead of mine with the wrong name underneath. Sorry for that, but please go ahead. <laughs> okay, we MPE has been running for just over 40 years now. And I started it when I was in my early 30s. So you can, you can make an approximation to to the idea that I'm due to retire. And since we moved to Spain, uh, I've become much more interested in things like fruit farming and irrigation systems. So that's where the world. So what actually happens within within Bodney and Belts is that I'm no longer doing any consultancy. Gerald is the technical genius in charge of it all. Um, I have the shareholding arrangement is such that I can stop Gerald from doing any, doing things, and he can stop me from doing things. So we, <laughs> our, 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 our silly attitudes to life are under some form of control. Uh, but really, MPE is you know under the name of, of Vodden and Pelts is carrying on as before. Uh, VFX is being, is being enhanced, new processes, new tool, uh, VFX implementations for new processes are already being developed. So, you know, we're, we're on the way. L life is, is, is fine. If you want consultancy, you can have it from any country in the world. And we will, uh, we'll, it will just be run from Vienna rather than from Southampton. Um, as some of you know, the uh, British people made a silly dis decision a few years ago. And uh, that made it inevitable that we were going to move our, uh, we were going to follow a market of 550 million people rather than a market of 60 million people. Hence, Hence the change of territory. Back to you, Gerald. Okay, that being said, we still value our UK customers. Huh. <laughs> don't worry about that, please. Uh, we still love you. You just, yes, we, just we don't... still love you. We just don't. Uh, it was just not feasible um, to keep the company running that way, um, at least with me being abroad. That was the issue. Okay, so no hard feelings. We love you all. and. I'm now going to show you some new things. So, um, right, let's start with the terminal, the thing we all came to love, right? And I hope you can see it in big blue button. I think you can. Now, um, we have seen wonderful features being introduced by SwiftForce, namely locate and edit. And um, uh, the other system. GeForce, GeForce. No, it, it was SwiftForce, I think, was the first one. And then. Um, I think so. And then uh, GeForce, I was just going to come to that part. GeForce then iterated upon of that. We did some iterations on that. 
And now we are in, in the midst of what I call the terminal UI wars. So who can make the cooler mm -hmm. UI systems? But don't worry, we're all going to make nice systems and look and steal features from each other and all systems are going to improve. So um, the one thing um, I always find fascinating with force is how you can inspect the system from within. But typing words just doesn't cut it in the 21st century. And yes, I know we have searches for where you can have something. I'd like to find words similarly named after like this or so, but we were uh, searching for some more interesting approaches. So the first thing we came up with is a wonderful Starfield simulation, which just throws random words at you. Um, this was actually also an, uh, a test of how fast the terminals are. And you'd be amazed how slow they actually are. I always thought the terminals are, you know, they're all being OpenGL accelerated and that. Uh, but I think we really have to get Bernd to write a proper terminal uh, with Net2O so we can all profit from that. So, okay, so this was, uh, this proved that it was fast enough. Um, but the usability, I leave up to you. I don't think this is something you would be waiting for until your favorite word comes along. So iterating on top of that. I'm sorry, it's a bit too big for me. I have to step back. So um, let me show you something more interesting, which we've been testing for some while. And we are, you know, I'm never ready to show this stuff, but Stephen is kind of pushing me and he's right, I think. So we have a new command, which we call browse. And it looks like this. Um, you just see the words and to the left, you can see the addresses. And you can also see an I for an immediate or a D for a dual or NDCS token, as we call them in VFX, right? Um, now, this is nice, but not great. So uh, what can we do with it? Well, you can just type away and then it will filter the word list for you. And at the very bottom, you can always see what actually locate does for you, right? It normally just shows you part of the source code if configured properly. And with the up and down buttons, lo and behold, we can actually browse through the words and we can read the documentation if there is any, um, which I hope there is. So you can see it's, it's, a, it's already a lot easier if you know, oh, God damn, I called the word draw something and you can make M words. But still, I don't want to click through all of them to see the stack effect. So we have another thing. You can press the F4 button, for example, which then shows you the line it's been defined in. So now you can already see where I'm going with this. So it's basically like um, a version of Locate, but uh, more interactive. I mean, it has its drawbacks. I love Locate for what it is. But I'd like to have, I really, I'm really used to interactively filtering as I'm doing so much uh, with browsers. So I thought it would be nice to bring to the terminal. And just to show you some of the things why I'm a bit hesitant. Uh, so for example, if your system comes out of touch uh, with the compiled state, which I desperately put this in now. So now, for example, you can see that uh, the system was not able to find the correct line because I edited it and now it's jumping around. And there's also ideas of uh, filtering specific vocabularies, but really what I wanted to show to you, I suggest we throw another word in the, in the wonderful wor world of terminal UI, which we call browse. And of course, uh, the word can also do parsing. I mean, it just parses the word. So if you start with, um, let's say key, uh, you get already the filter pre-configured for keys. And of course you can, again, switch between the two of them. That's what I wanted to show to you. Um, let me see if I can come back to you now. Yes, I can. Uh, so are there any questions? Oh, I see a thumbs up. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, Nick, please go ahead. And please don't forget to unmute yourself. Uh, well, I always have one question for uh, Stephen and Geralt. Yes. And they know which question it is, so I won't bother to answer it. I'll just leave them to answer the question. Soon. <laughs> <laughs> no, it really, really, really is on the top of our uh, list, but uh, we, we, it's such a big target to hit. We do have to make some intermediate advantages as well. I don't just want to 
hit pause on the company and just do that for uh, the whole time it takes us to make the uh, ARM64 running. And uh, B, we, have a, we have a tell them now what the, everybody else what the actual question is, which is when the ARM64 version of BFX. No, 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 you've forgotten the corollary to the question. Oh, how much? <laughs> <laughs> yes. The, I mean, the, 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 problem, the problem here is that we have, we have a raft of things that are in the, on the job list. And there's a lot of them to do with user interface stuff. Yes, and that's also why uh, Stephen is asking me to wrap up. So really, Browse is now coming to VFX. UI5 will now be coming. I'm finally uh, feeling brave enough to let other forces shout at me for doing it all wrong. So. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to, to minimize the amount of. Yeah. Um, can I can I just put a couple of other questions in? The first thing is that um, I was really impressed with this uh, swig thing, yes. which Anton was presenting as a, as a really really thorough method of bringing in header files, and I'm just wondering uh, whether you're considering that. Yeah, uh, as as Bernd was presenting this this time. There is also a presentation which I did on uh, on the German uh, Forstgesellschaft, but I think Bernd did a wonderful job of explaining it. Um, he he also explained the old part, which uh, I am not so fond of, but I understand perfectly because it's the tested and working one. Um, but we are right now we are currently on what we have the working title. Um, I think we called it warp, C warp, because rep was already taken, something like that, right? And it's, it's really very easy, Nick. Uh, as as Bian showed, you just need the interface file. And in VFX, there's also a way to automate that for you to some extent. And then you just hit one button. And the thing is now with the new system what that comes out, there is a shared object or a DLL, whatever system you created on. And the magic is that you can load this DLL with GeForce, SwiftForce, or uh, VFX, of course. That's the idea, and, and and if you recall, um, I had this. Uh, this was still a little brain fart in my mind when we were meeting uh, Chuck in the in twenty eighteen, I think. That's mm -hmm. when I when I presented a new C interface, and this is what I am now really working on as well. So there's really lots of stuff in the cooker, <laughs> but we well, need to finish them. Really looking forward to that because that would make life a lot easier. And one last little question. Uh, which has been hanging around for a while, um, and that is the uh, issue of floats in callbacks. Uh, that's that's actually the thing with with the Swig interface. Um, as Bernd explained, you are really providing uh, two stack pointers, and the four system could not care less of what's happening afterwards. It's all handled in the C world. So uh, I can't uh, promise you uh, everything with the callbacks yet, but I can say that we are working on that as well. But right now, the first the first idea is now to allow to just load them easily. But yeah, we'll keep Thank you. you Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. OK, Uli? Uh, yeah, actually, a comment. Uh, I think the original system that does uh, or did locate is Polyforth. Oh. Um, and um, uh, yeah, the other, uh, you showed us uh, that you could uh, switch on the stack comments or switch off them. Why not display them all the time? Uh, this is again just something in order to get stuff done because what I really wanted is to dynamically pass a uh, doc chain and then display the results. But you can see mm -hmm. how this is more complicated. So mm -hmm. um, I think, and also if the files are missing, it looks a bit wrong. So but yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's, we just decided something like, okay, let's ship it. And then your feedback is, I also think that the default version should be to display the lines next to it. Mm -hmm. But if you have a slow system, maybe it will take some time than when you type because yeah. it's reading the files. Yeah, yeah I see. Yeah. Okay, well, thank Thanks. you very much. I mean, part of, part of the problem is, is, is that not everybody writes stack comments or any documentation at all. Even then, uh, if you show it or always, then people get aware of that. Uh, yes, yes. Because they, they, they don't get the, the feedback. That is, the that, is, that is perfectly true. But yeah, it's also discussion on whether to use uh, internals sure. like XREF and stuff like this. But yeah, I don't want to go too deep into this because it should be a lightning talk. But thank you very mm -hmm. much for the interest, everybody.